Ron and Fez last night discussing the fact that uh, when they saw Fez at the football game, he was absolutely covered <laughs> with girlish makeup. Pancake. Steve, you're on runoffez.com. Hey, guys, how you doing? What's happening, buddy? Hey, I just want to, I mean, you guys were at the game yesterday. I'm actually in the Washington Redskins marching band. You're one of the marching skins? That's right, man. Yeah. I play the trumpet. I you know, saw we, you I saw you guys. We were at the uh, JFK uh, tailgate. Yeah, uh, I heard from Don and Mike on their show today. They were talking about you guys and how uh, fuzzy wears makeup, but that's another story. Hmm. Oh, no way would they bring that up. They were, actually. <laughs> well, we did. Well... <laughs> We did. Why? I didn't know it was a big secret to bring up the fact that Fez had makeup I on. I hope they elaborate. Really? I, they, they love you guys, though. Oh. And we do, too, down here. We love them, too. By, by the way, Don was so much fun to hang out with, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, Don was great. We got to hang out with him as soon as we got there. He does the pregame show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, right. It's like he's the king of Washington. <laughs> All right, a lot of people are writing in, Fez, about this uh, makeup situation. Really? Let's check the tape. Yeah, we got the Donna Mike show right here. From the Donna Mike show. <laughs> All right. Thanks. I want to mention that following us... See, now, this is funny, because yeah. what they're doing is... Yeah, I know. They're playing a tape of us talking <laughs> about them, and then the next day, right. we're playing a tape of them talking about us while they're playing the tape yeah. of us talking about them. Pretty weird. Works <laughs> in New York. On NEW, our buddies Ron and Fez. Hey! Tell us what the deal is, Fez, with your makeup yesterday. Yeah, we'd like to hear all about your makeup, your we pancake, would. your foundation, your rouge, and your eyeliner. We would. He didn't have eyeliner. And he his, just had pancakes. Did he have false rouge. eyelashes? He did not. Oh, okay. He did not. Hey. But, hey. hey. Fez, please address that. Right. This is the way we leave messages for them. It works. And if they address it on their show tonight, we'll play the tape on our show tomorrow. Very good. Now? Okay. Like we just played the tape now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Fez, normally you're pretty restrained with that, but I will admit this on Sunday. Yeah. It looked like you were going to a kabuki show. <laughs> and I didn't want to say anything. It, but I knew you were going to be spending the day in the sun. Exactly. That was the situation. It was a long day. And, of course, you know, I've been shaving since the second grade. <laughs> so the minute the beard sprouts, it doesn't help. Right. Yeah, there is a situation. That I suppose uh, now should be addressed. <laughs> mm. This is good. Situation happened probably, what, Ronnie, four or five years ago? Five. So what, there's a story? It's not just that he wears makeup? <laughs> this is good. I, I tell you, the tensions kill me. I'm listening. <laughs> Rob, it's not just that he wears makeup because he likes it? No, no. No? This is, this is very heavy? There's something to hear? Yeah, are we going to be pleased? Um, I don't know that you'll be pleased. It's not all that heavy, but there's a fascinating story. Oh, yeah. all right. Look into his checkered story. past. Right. All right, let's listen. About five years ago? <laughs> I was maybe longer. And this is a complete shoot, everyone. So. Shoot, of course, means Fez is talking real. If you happen to be a wrestling fan, <laughs> you understand. Everybody else is like, a shoot? What? Right, it's not a work. No. It's the truth. You're not working an angle. I got burned Music. on my face severely oh my. about five years ago. Oh. And so what happened was I lost basically half of my face. He's a half face. I'm a two face. Yeah. He looks like two face. When Fez doesn't wear his makeup, children are frightened. They really are. That's the one reason I went around without it for quite a while. And then one one Christmas shopping spree at the mall, kids started staring at me. So basically I said, Well, it's time to do something about that. I don't believe him. I say we saw I don't believe him at when all. we were up at him. when we were up at NEW that day when he came in to ask Buzz to marry him. Right. He didn't have makeup on that day, mm -hmm. and he didn't look, look like a burn victim. I equate a burn victim looking like Pat Summerall's hands or that Freddy Krueger's. Yeah, right. That. Okay, let's continue. Well, doesn't it even have a name, Fez? What your what your skin condition is? Well, I've actually been to four der dermatologists and yeah. a plastic surgeon, and they couldn't exactly get a right diagnosis. What happened to me was I got a very very severe sunburn. When we lived in Florida, I was out. I always tell people, like John McCain, wear the damn sunblock. You told that to John McCain? No, like John McCain tells everyone. So what happened was, I mean, he's I gone got from my burn. Face. He's gone from burn, and now he's the going into the melanoma burn. thing. All right, well, well, let's, let's, let's wait and see what's going Rob on. Rob says there's more still to okay, come. Okay, very good. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely fried off. I don't know how that happened. Uh, how about this? You get drunk. All right, I don't think we need to tell that part. You pass out in the sun. 
Also, I don't know if it was just drinking. Because, and young people, turn off your radios now. Yeah. This was the summer of Rohithinol, or oh. roofies. Roofies. There were several <laughs> chemicals involved that day. Let's say that. Hold, See, what happened was... Hold on, hold on. This is the story now. He was taking roofies? <laughs> <laughs> wow. But even if you take roofies, what the hell are roofies? Rohypnol. Rohypnol? Oh, Buzz can give you a couple. What is, what are roofies, Buzz? It's, it's considered one of the, the sort of date rape drugs. <laughs> oh, my God. So fast it's gone from being burned to John McCain to sunburn to he's on narcotics and he's passing out the sun. Oh, don't you know Buzz's nickname around here? <laughs> he's the Roofie King. The Roofie King. The Roofie King. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Ardinger checks in with him every Friday night to get his weekend supply of roofies. Roofies. And all. Or roofies. Roofies. There were several chemicals involved that day. Let's say that. See, what happened was, Ronnie and I, we'd get a lot of beer right. given to us and during the course of the show. I mean, tremendous amounts of beer. A lot of times I would go make an appearance, and they would pay me and throw in a case of beer. So I had all this beer stacked up at my beach apartment when we lived in Florida. I decided to have a beer party and get rid of all of it. Mm -hmm. I was drinking those giant Fosters. <laughs> Australian for beer. You know, I still don't see how this has to do with having to wear makeup. I would like to say that it's BS. Is there an end to the story? Yes. Yes, okay. Oh, Rob good. says there is an end. All right, let's go. Okay. Finish. And actually passed out in the middle of the afternoon, early afternoon, in the Florida sun. Woke up, had such a severe burn on my face, I had to go to the doctor. And my face never recovered from it. So I have lost... And it's weird. It goes right down the middle of my face. Yeah. It's the right-hand side of my face. And the color is gone. It's gone. And isn't it even like if you grow a beard now? Yeah. the pig Fez wore a beard his whole life. Yeah. The pigment is absolutely gone. If All right. So now, now, that might be true. I had impetigo when I was a kid, and there's a little quarter-sized spot on my back that doesn't have... Were you have taking roofies? No, I wasn't taking any roofies. <laughs> it, we got, it, but I lost the pigment. A little quarter-sized spot on my back that right. doesn't tan. Okay. So, I, I mean, grow in a mustache or a beard, that comes in pure white. Yeah. I would have a mustache that's half brown I'll buy that for a second. and half white. Uh, Why don't you do Right it? down the middle. Well, I'm trying not to draw attention to myself, Ron. <laughs> So what happened was, so I don't have any color in huge areas on this side of my face. So I noticed, you know, people looking at it and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I put on the foundation, the Derma Blend, which is what they give burn victims. Uh, it, listen, it, it looked like Estee Lauder. It didn't look like <laughs> Derma Blend. anything you give a, a, a burn patient, okay? And I still don't, I'd, I still like to know how the roofies come into play on this. Well, that's how. That's why he passed out in the sun. Uh, on the I beach. thought he passed out in the sun because he had this case of free beer. That too. And the roofies. Okay. Rick's just stopping that right in the middle of it. <laughs> it's funny. He thinks it's funny. Uh, Fredo thinks He's it's funny. He's laughing at my face right Fredo, now. you think it's funny that half his face is burned off? Tasteless Jenny, come on over here. Now you can see, you can probably see the outline because it doesn't cover it completely. Yes, I can. Now, you, when you get up real close. Very close. I, I have to I have to get very close to you because I, I'm i blind in one eye. But well, once I get up really close. Please, let's not oh hear your God. problems. This oh, is about Fez now. Boy, they're quite I, a crew. I, I do Burn victim. For five, <laughs> for five minutes, can we put the MS on the back burner? Jeez. What a freak show this is. I'm sorry <laughs> if someone took the medical spotlight well, for two seconds. I was just seconds. explaining why I had to be let's one get inch back from your face. Uh, listen. <laughs> All right, is it true, Rob? Is it on the level? Do you think it's on the level? How does the story end? Is that how it ends? He just he goes on and he says that this is the case and they wanted Don and Mike to know this. Fast forward to the end of All it right. then. Please. Because <laughs> they're, you know, they're kind of doing what we do. <laughs> they're taking a little something and running with it, you know. They've got some hours to fill, too. That's All right. I know is that when we go up to uh, NEW, I think we might be going up next week for a couple of days. Yeah. What we should do is get Fezzy to come in one day yeah. and show us this incredible two-faced look that he has. I think that's a wonderful idea. All right, you got it, Rob? All right, here's the end of it. So, Don, you could have asked me yesterday. I would have told you the whole story. Please, I'm <laughs> bored him then. He's at the game trying to enjoy himself. Of course, he had to do the pregame. I don't think he had time for this long, drawn-out tale of burn. All he sees is your kabuki makeup <laughs> melting off in waves. Right! <laughs> dripping down your shirt. Right! Fez, I say you stop the makeup thing. 
I'm not going to stop. Come that. on, you Two Face. No, I'm not going to be Harvey Two Face. <laughs> what about Ron and Two Face show? <laughs> no. People will respect you. All right. Well, listen. Thank you for addressing that, Ron and Fezzi. And listen, next week <laughs> when we come up to NEW, one day, Fez, get out of bed early. Right. Come up to the studio. And show us your two face. We'd like to see it. We'd like to see it. Okay. And we'll be the judge of whether you should go back to the makeup or not. <laughs> right. We'll let you know. And Buzz, yes, your favorite Fezzi. Yes. Buzz will bring some roofies up. <laughs> <laughs> so and maybe it'll be a sunny day, and he can, uh, you know, he can lie out by one of the cows. And then you maybe know. you'll be able to date Ray Buzz. <laughs> because hey. Of, because like, hey. Hey. I know that's something he looked forward to. <laughs> wow. Oh, look at this. Mr. Forty's online now. Well, All thank right. you. Thank you, Ron and Fez. Yeah. That's very nice of them to respond, and I'm glad we know the uh, the answer now. Well, <laughs> sort of. We'll find out next week when <laughs> we still see think him. it might be crap. See him in person. Yeah. Yeah, me too. He's on the phone now yeah. from ronandfez.com. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Heard nightly, of course, on uh, JFK, NEW, quite a few other stations. As I will tell you, that is a uh, a moving story. You told about the makeup. We were... That is actually a true story. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You had roofies. Yes. You, you had beer. Yes. And you burned off half your face. Well, then how come when we saw you that day you came into the studio to meet Buzz? Uh-huh. When we were up in New York? Right. How come we didn't notice, like, a gross disfiguration at that time? I had the foundation on. Oh, you had the makeup on? Yes, I swear to you. So you wear it all the time? Every day. Now, what happened Sunday... That was a long trip to Washington, D.C. You laid it on thick? Laid it on thick, and, you know, as the day wears on, this gorilla-type beard that I have, I have a, you know, Chewbacca doesn't have to shave as much as I do. Right. That starts growing through it, and it becomes all the more pronounced. Would yeah. you really, and the facial hair would be the same way? The facial hair would be no pigment? The facial hair has absolutely no pigment, so, uh, so I have these huge areas. I actually have, like, a... A map of Asia across the right side of my face. Just these huge areas with no pigment, oh. and the hair grows in absolutely white. Cool. Well, so as the nice. dark hair grows in around it, it makes those areas even more pronounced. The makeup you had on, mm -hmm. when I was standing right next to you, it looked like like my mom. Like when my mom would get cover girl d dressed up. Right. Yeah, well, certainly my mom's not a cover girl, but that type of... I was just saying, like, real foundation, huh? Yeah, you know, my, my mom is the... <laughs> My mom's the cover girl for uh, for Undertaker's Monthly. Oh, God. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, I mean, back in the day, right? that's how my mom would plaster it on. And I guess, well, Fez, what about the thought of, of like, taking it with you and, and just ducking into the stall and uh, giving yourself a little dab, you know, bringing a compact with you? You know, I did have it with me, but I left it in McClure's car. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, you left your makeup in Jim McClure's car. <laughs> and of it was gone when I got back. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Fez. Yes. We're coming up next week. Okay. One day, will you come in when we're on the air without makeup on? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll come in and I'll take it off. All right. Okay. That's good. That's all right. That's cool. Too. All right. Very good. All right. That's a deal. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll see you then. Can I go to King of Queens with you guys? <laughs> no. 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 I have a plan. I'll distract Angelo while Don's with Leah and his wife. Okay. <laughs> All right, Fez. We'll see you next week. All right. How are you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Hey. 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 All right. Bye, Fezzy. See ya. Bye-bye. <laughs> good guy. That's yeah. Fez from Ron and Fez. Very good guy. Very funny guy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, see, it was just last week you were saying that we do hate most disc jockeys. Mm -hmm. And there are some. Who we actually don't hate. Yeah, absolutely. There are a lot of disc jockeys we don't hate. Right. I mean, not, not a whole bunch, but I mean, there are three or four. Yeah, right. Well, I can think of four we don't hate. Who? ONA uh -huh. yeah. and Ron and Fez. There you go. That's it.